kwa sana asubuhi ya leo. I'm so glad for this wonderful morning. Kulikuwa kipita masiku siwezi kukusajika na watoto wa Mungu. There have been so many days that I haven't been able to gather together with the servant of God. Lakini namshukuru Mungu kwa kuwa siku ya leo nimewezesha kuwa mahali hapa. And I thank God because uh, today he has given me that opportunity to be here. Na kuweza kushiriki neno lake pamoja na watoto wake. And to partake his word with his uh, uh, blessed children. Namshukuru Mfalme Jesus Christ kwa mengi alifanya katikati ya kanisa lake. I bless Jesus Christ for all he's done to our church. Na mengi alifanyika yote ni mapenzi yake. And a lot has been happening all that is uh, his will. Kwa kwa neno lake linasema kwamba kwa mazuri na mema yote tumshukuru yeye mwenye heshima. Because his word says that for good for worse let's praise him because he deserves the respect. Hatuishi maisha ya furaha ndani ya dunia tunaishi furaha na kulia juu ya tunapitia kama wa Kristo. It's not just a joyful life we have joy and we have difficulties that's the way we going. Lakini yote tunaamini kwamba Yesu ni mshindi. But we believe that Jesus is the winner. Nasema hiyo kwa juu nisikia huku tuko na wengine wako na video wengine wapitia ma Masajari na mengine alifanyika katikati yetu lakini Yesu anaendelea kuwa mshindi katikati ya maisha yetu. I'm saying that because we've heard that some have lost their loved ones, others have gone through surgeries and a lot has been happening but I uh, believe Jesus is the winner of all this. Amen. Amen. Ya yeah, bila kukawia nataka tu sikie ni kitu gani Yesu anazungumza nasi siku ya leo. Uh, without uh, wasting much time, I want us to hear what uh, Jesus is going to talk to us about today. Kama muko na Bible zenu, if you have a Bible, nataka murudi pale pale barisha tusomea wakati wa utangulizi. Let's go and read uh, the four words. Nataka tuwe pamoja, tusikilize sana kwa makini. I want us to be together and be careful when we're listening. Inaweza kuwa ni neno la Mungu lilisikia muda mrefu. It may be a word that you've heard for a long time. Ni story tu unayejua kitambo. It's a story that you know for quite a long time. Lakini nataka kukwambia kwamba neno la Mungu siku leo linakuja liko na mtihani kwako. I want to tell you that the word of God is coming today it's an exam to you. Linakuja kwako kama homework. Na mwanafunzi wa mzuri akipatiwa homework anafanya ni homework na kurudishia mwalimu. I'm coming to you as a homework and a good student when they have a homework they do their homework and they return the the, the homework to the teacher. Haleluya. Amen. Tumezoea sana siku ya Mungu kuja kanisani tunahubiriwa tunaenda nyumbani next week ni hivyo 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 hivyo. We are so used to a situation where every Sunday Sundays we come to church and today we get preached to and we leave go home just like that. Lakini siku ya leo ni tofauti. Ah today is different. Ni tofauti kwa juu neno la leo ni mtihani kwako na sisi tunataka utupatie ule mtihani kisha ufanya tunataka turudishie. I send exam to you because the word of today I want you to do your homework and after the homework to return to see the results. Njoo tutajua kwamba tunakuja hapa kujifunza neno la Mungu na kutimiza vile neno la Mungu linatuambia. Then we we'll know for sure that we come here to listen to the word of God and Hallelujah. work upon it. Amen. Tuko pamoja? Amen. Are we together? Yeah. Mtihani wa leo unatuambia kwamba enenda zako na wewe ukafanye hivi hivyo hivyo. Um, the exam today is telling us to go and do same wise. Go and do likewise. Tuko pamoja. Amen. Nasema kwamba inaenda zako na wewe ukafanye hivyo hivyo. You go and do likewise. Jo ni wataka ni mtihani. Wajua nataka vile tutazungumza vile Mungu atatuambia siku ya leo. Nataka muende mubifanye, mukishafanya mtatuletea majibu kwamba Umeona kwamba ni ukweli au si ukweli? What what are you going to talk about today? I want you to go and do your homework, go and do likewise and return to us and tell us if it's true or not true. Kwa juu mlisikia muda mrefu. It was something you've heard for a long time. I 
hiyo story ya msamaritani mwema kila mtu anayejua hapa the parable of, of good samaritan everyone knows about it na mtoto mdogo anayejua even a small kid know, know about it lakini hatuipe muda sana tunasikia tunasema hivi vitu vile mambo yameisha change I mean, but we listen to it and say, I mean, things have changed. Bila kukawia nataka tunudirie neno wa Mungu tusome kwa jina la Yesu. Without wasting time, I want us to listen to the word of God. Luka mtakatifu 10, tutaanza ku mstari wa 25. Uh, the book of Luke chapter 10, uh, we start from verse 25. Nitaanza kusoma Kiswahili eh kisha Sijui kama tuko na muda wa kusoma na English au tutaendelea moja kwa moja atakuwa na tafsiri nyuma. Tusome. Na tazama mwana sheria moja alisimama akamjaribu akisema, "Mwalimu, nifanye nini ili niulidhi uzima wa milele?" Akamwambia, "Imeandikwa nini katika Torati?" Wasomaji akajibu akasema, Mupende Bwana Mungu wako kwa moyo wako wote na kwa roho yako yote na kwa nguvu zako zote na kwa akili zako zote na jirani yako kama nafsi yako. Akamwambia, "Umejibu vyema. Fanya hivi na wewe utaishi." Naye akitaka naye akitaka kujidai haki alimuuliza Yesu, "Na jirani yangu ni nani?" Yesu akamjibu akasema Mtu mmoja alishuka kutoka Yerusalemu kwenda Yeriko akaangukia kati ya wanyanganyi akamwakamvua waka nguo wakamtia jeraha wakaenda zao wakimwacha karibu ya kufa kwa, na, kwa nasibu kuhani mmoja alishuka kwa njia ile na alipomuona alipita kando na mlawi hivyo hivyo alipita pe, alipita pale akamuona akapita kando lakini msamaria mmoja kati katika kusafiri kwake alifika hapo alipo na alipomuona alimhurumia akakamkaribia akamfunga jeraha zake akizitia mafuta na divai akampandisha juu ya mnyama wake akampeleka mpaka nyumba ya wageni akamtunza hata siku ya pili akatoka dina, akatoa dinari mbili akampa mwenye nyumba ya wageni akisema utunze huyu na chochote utakachogarimiwa zaidi mimi nitaka porudi nitakulipa waonaji wewe katika hao watu ni yupi aliyekuwa jirani ya yule aliye aliangukia katika katika ya wanyanganyi akasema ni hule aliyomuonea ali huruma Yesu akamwambia endenda zako na wewe ukafanye hivyo hivyo haleluya amen soma letu leo our preaching today nataka tusisikie mengi sana au tusiende kwenda mbali sana I don't want you to listen to too, too a lot or go or uh, think much. Nataka tusikie vitu vidogo lakini tuifanyie kazi kama ninasemaka kila wakati. I want to, uh, you to listen to just few things that you do your homework on. Neno la Mungu hapa hisi walivyotuambia according to the word of God here. Kuko watu wiko wanazungumza wana hapa kuko watu wanazungumza wana kwa kwa akizungumza akizungumza na Yesu. There was some, uh, somebody who was talking to Jesus. Na watu wa kwanza wanatuambia kwamba alikuwa mwanasheria. And the first one they say it's, it's, that was a lawyer. Mwanasheria siku za leo tunamfananisha kama Mkristo. Uh, well, a lawyer in today's world we we take that as a Christian. Wa Kristo wa leo mbele usome neno amekuwa ameshajua lile neno gisi unaanza tu na anajua yote ile utasema ndani ya neno. Today's Christian when it comes to the word of God, uh, when you search just the word, they kind of know everything that you're going to talk about. Sheria za Mungu tunazijua sana. Uh, the principles of God we know them very well. Na sisi tukishajua mambo hayo tunajiona kwamba tuko wa Kristo, tuko watu wa kuokoka. And when we know those laws, we think we are, we mean we, we believe we are Christian and we've been saved. Lakini ukiingia ndani ya neno la Mungu gisi 
neno la Mungu linatumika naonesha kwamba unaweza kuwa unajua neno la Mungu unaweza kuwa umeokoka sana lakini haujajua ni je kutembea moja ya kwenda mbinguni na kupata uzima wa milele uh, you, you may be knowing the word of god maybe knowing everything but uh, the, the word of god says shows that you may be a christian but you don't know how to prepare your way to go to heaven jomo aliwaambia nataka siku ya leo tusikie machache lakini tuyatumikishe vizuri as i'm saying today you listen to just few but use them wisely utakuwa wewe uko mtu wa muhimu sana kupita ule mtu yuko anajua bible yote lakini haifanye kitu chochote chochote you be more important than that person who knows the entire bible but is not working on it huyo maana sheria is lawyer alimuuliza Yesu asema nifanye nini niweze kupata uzima wa milele um this lawyer asked the teacher or what should i do to inherit uh, the eternal life na Yesu akamwambia kwamba neno la Mungu lina limeandikwa ndani ya neno la Mungu limeandikwa nini and Jesus asked him what is it what is written what is it written in the bible unaona wale maanashia alikuwa ametua ndani ya ndani yake hakwenda kusoma nini pale alikuwa na Yesu hakuwa na bible na kwenda kufungua na kusoma alianza akamwambia akamwambia neno la Mungu nasema kwamba mpende Mungu wako na nguvu zako zote na akili yako na sisi hapa sisi tunayajua hayo haleluya So the, 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 that lawyer knew everything he knew the word of God and he started telling God Jesus that uh, the word of God the word of God says that you should love your neighbor and uh, uh, yeah yeah uno nakupenda ndugu yako kama unajipenda wewe mwenyewe and to love your, 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 your brother just like you love yourself sisi sote hiyo tunaijua we all know that word lakini ukitaka kuangalia vizuri sana but if you look carefully tunaitoa kama ni kama story i mean we take it as a story ukichunguza sana if you look at the story the importance of this word na purpose au kama walitoandika kwa juu ya nini and the purpose of this word to us unaona kujua hayo maneno ni kama hatujajua ni kama tuliyajua tukapoteza muda wa kuweka ndani ya kichwa chetu so like we had this word we we wasted our time we didn't keep them in our in our mind jomana unaona huyu alimeisha sema vizuri lakini akaanza kuuliza na maswali mengi mimi this lawyer has just spoken very well but he started ask, asking more questions ni kusema alimwambia Yesu vita ameisha jua lakini akaanza kuuliza I mean it means that he was telling he was telling Jesus what he already, he already knew but he started again asking questions. Ni kusema kwamba na sisi tunajua maandiko vizuri. It means that we also know the scriptures very well lakini hatujui cha kufanya na yale maandiko. And we don't know what to do with those scriptures. Jo mara siku ya leo nataka niwaambie vitu vidogo lakini muende mufanye kwa hivyo vitu mukifanya hivyo Mungu atawabariki na viongozi watakuwa tuna tunasikia tu, tunangoja ripoti kutoka kwenu kama umefanya vitu kama hivyo. Uh, that's why today I'm just going to talk about a few words and uh, it, the the honest is to you to do your homework and the uh, leaders will hear back from you to see if you are working on what you have today. Kitu cha kwanza nataka kuambia the first thing I want to tell you Mukristo akokoka unapasha kuwa na huruma I mean, a Christian a person has been served has to be merciful. Kama hauna huruma, if you're not you don't have mercy, uanze kuomba Mungu au kupatie wewe mtu wa huruma. So I am mean, praying God and ask him to make you a person who feel mercy for others. Haleluya. Amen. Nasema huruma kwa juu ya nini? I'm talking about the mercy because why? Mtu huyo aliangukia katikati ya wanyangani ule mtu wa kwanza alipofikia naweza kumfananisha kama pasta kama wewe mie sadi na kuweka koti langu kiatu na weka vizuri kisha nashuka mbele na kukuta mbele ya mlango pale na unabaki maybe five minutes ibada ianze niko busy i mean i'm talking about this person who fell in the, in the hand of robbers and i'm a mie as a pastor just dressed smartly i'm heading to church and i have five minutes to to get to church na maangalia hana nguo yuko ndani ya matope kwanza 
Hallelujah. And look at that person. He's, 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 he's falling in the mud. I mean, he doesn't have any dress. And I look at myself the way I look so smart. I mean, if I touch, it to, I touch him, I will mess up myself. Maybe I mean, it doesn't have Maybe the, the, the priest when he saw that person, he started asking himself, maybe this person is a, is, was a robber or is a homeless person. And some judging that, that person and saying maybe they should just have killed him and do away with him. And our life today is just like that. Oh, the second thing. Uh, everything that you do to God, you get, uh, there is a, pr a price for that. You can say that you serve God if you haven't I mean, sacrificed your time. Why am I talking about time? Uh, that uh, the good Samaritan. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I can liken him to uh, a business person, somebody just doing his uh, business as usual. Uh, and even God doesn't know them. And if you read in the scriptures. The, the, the Lord was telling us that the first, when he saw that person, he felt pity for that person. If you don't have pity, first of all, it's mercy. If you don't have mercy, you cannot do anything. There are people who don't feel uh, pity for other people. They just say, no, I don't care about that. If they, they, they see somebody who is hard, they just say, oh, no. I mean. And they see their brother is in trouble and they say, oh, it's finished. Which means that uh, mercy is something very important. Uh, second thing, that person, after feeling pity for that person, he forgot about where he was going. That person had his own plan, his own schedule. I mean, the word of God, the Bible is saying that uh, he took that person, took care of them, and put them on his uh, animal, and took two days taking care of that person. job and you meet this person and you go to work and you stop going to work you take that person to JPS and start taking care of that person for two days uh, there is no difference with that you and that person uh, the, what this person did also, uh, our saving God, you have to know that even your wealth has to be part of it. That person used his own money, his time, and he said that any other expense that to be incurred, he will take care of it. Uh, one more other important thing. Jesus, before answering the, the lawyer, he, he, told, he, he, he told him something very clear. He asked him, What does the scriptures talk say? I mean, the, the, 
The commandment which I was said was uh, is the biggest of all the commandments. Ile ampende Mungu kwa nguvu zako zote na roho yako yote na akili yako yote na mpende ndugu yako kama unavyozipendi ukipenda just like you used to love your God and love yourself just like you, I mean you love your neighbor just like you love yourself kitu cha muhimu sana ni sheria lakini zina 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 ingia those are commandments that are important but are they interconnected they are interconnected lakini naweza kusema kwamba ile ya mwisho penda jira umupenda jira nako kama unavyovipenda jo ina justify ile ya kwa vile vya kwanza so i would say that uh, the commandment which say you should love your neighbor just like you love, you love yourself is the one that justify the first one watuna na mungu nasema kwamba huwezi kumpenda mungu hautamuona kama hautampenda ndugu yako na muona siku zote because the bible says that you cannot love the god that you have not seen if you haven't loved your, your brother or your sister that you see every day jo maana ile ya mwisho so I would say the last one is has so much power. Because So that, that good Samaritan took that person and he, he, he looked at the situation as his own situation and said, if it was me, what they, should, what they would have done for me? That's the first uh, uh, question I'm giving you the, as an exam. Uh, an exam. Shida yote kikutana nayo kwa mtu mwingine kama mtu anakuletea maswali akamwambia niko na test wa hivi 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 kwanza ujiulize swali hizi zikiwa ziko ni kwangu nijefanya nini So when somebody comes to you and tell you their problem and explain to you their what they are going through the first question you should, should ask yourself if this had, had, had been my situation what would I have done Ukisha ona akili unaweza kufanya mfanyizie ule anakuletea shida Then after seeing what you should have done to yourself then to that person who has come to you with the problem Hallelujah Amen Tuko pamoja Amen Akisha kwambia anataka kunifukuza mnyumba na kazi wameisha nifukuza niko na watoto hawaende kumasoma wana chakula when it comes to you and say he doesn't have money to pay rent, children have been chased away from school and he doesn't have any, anything to eat, the first question you should ask, ask yourself, if this happened to you, what would you have done? When, after asking yourself that question, you look at what you have and you look at your time and you see how you can solve that problem uh, if it was just like it was your problem. That's why I'm telling you, you go and do likewise. Another thing that I want to tell you kila wakati every time ukikutana na shida pasi yote huko useme pasi yote ukiwa mwanafunzi ukiwa anyway you, if you, you you find yourself in a, in a trouble everywhere wherever you are urudirie pale Yesu ule 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 mwenye shida atamuliza Yesu akufanye nini you go back and ask and say uh, ask what, what the Lord asked Jesus what should I do Na wewe unamuuliza Yesu, Yesu nifanye nini kwa shida hii? And you also ask Jesus, Jesus what should I do for this problem? Mbele ya kuanza kutumia akili yako. Tuko pamoja. Before you start using your own intelligence. Yesu alimjibu nini? Alisema maandiko, ameandikwa nini? Jesus uh, responded to him and said, what is it? What is it written in the Bible? Ukisha fika hapo una, unaenda ndani ya Bible. Kwa hiyo shida uko nayo. So you say mimi nakusamarita. When you have a problem, you go in the Bible and look for that problem you have. I'm not talking about just the problem with the, the Samaritan. I'm talking about, uh, there are so many problems, there are so many situations. I'm, I'm talking about whichever situation you find yourself in. Ukisha, ingia dani ya maandiko, utapata jibu zuri sana, ile itamariza, Shida yako na shida yako itamalizika vizuri bila kitu kingine. Uh, when you get in the scriptures you get a solution to your problem without going any further. 
Nasema hiyo kwa juu mara nyingi wanadamu I'm talking about that because as human being tukikutana na shida when we, we find ourselves in a problem kwanza tunajiangalia je naweza kufanya nini so first of, first of all you ask yourself what can we do what can i do how, how what, what means do i have for this problem i mean when you you find yourself with no solution you ask who's that uh, brother or sister who can help me and you start looking for other solution from somewhere else I'm telling you as of today when you you find yourself in a situation Jesus ask Jesus what should I do for this situation hallelujah amen it's not a joke hallelujah no I'm not saying, I mean, don't take it, uh, take it seriously. I told you, you have a test. I mean, if you take seriously what I've told you, you'll see the result and you come and tell us. Ukisha angalia ndani ya neno la Mungu utakuta jibu nzuri kupita ale mawazo yako ya ndugu yako atakwambia kwa ile shida uko nayo. If you look into the Bible you get an answer a better answer than what your neighbor or your friend would have told you. Akinu kitu cha mwembo nilisha waambia njoo kwamba muda unapasha kuwa kwa jibu la Mungu kama ule kusamata anatumia muda wake. I just have to, I've just told you that time is something you have to put into uh, practice just like the Samaritan used his time Jibu za Mungu hazikuje haraka haraka kama jibu ya wanadamu wanadamu anakwambia eh uko na shida yeye ndofanye hivi unaye unafanya hivi God's answer don't come as fast as you can expect them just like a, um, a, your friend can just come can, you can expose their your problem and tell them you have this problem go and do this and that lakini majibu utakuta mahali hapa atakuwa majibu anaenda na muda. I mean the, the responses you get from the Bible are responses that are going with time. Unapasha kuwa patient kwa jibu zitatokezea hapa. You have to be patient with the, the answers that you get from the Bible. Juma na sitaki next week kuja kuniambia nilifanya nikaona hakuna kitu kinaendelea. I want you to come next week and tell me that I I did what you said and I haven't seen any results. Unapasha kuwa patient. You have to be very patient. Ukisha fanya hivyo, after doing that, ndani ya nyumba yako, ndani ya maisha yako, ndani ya watoto wako, ndani ya masomo yako, kwa plan zote huko na plan. Uh, in your life, in your family, in, in your children, for every plan that you are having, na kujiweka mahali situation uta, utafanikiwa bila kushindwa. Uh, I mean putting yourself in that situation you be you succeed without fail. Jesus didn't tell the Samaritan to go and read the whole Bible. He didn't tell to go and be a pastor and start preaching my my words. And other things. Uh, uh, he just told that he told him that you shall love your Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, just like you love yourself. Now we and you, if you go into scriptures just like as Jesus said. Na kufanya kama Jesus alivyomwambia ule vile unaona ndani hapa na kusema kufanya hivyo hivyo and do exactly what the, the Samaritan did as Jesus told him to do na wewe utaupata uzima wa milele na maisha yako hapa ulimwengu atakuwa mema na atakuwa mazuri and you have a uh, everlasting life and your life, your life here on earth will be good haleluya amen tuko pamoja are we together Jonathan kila mmoja katikati yetu 
I want everyone amongst us. Uh, there's nobody who tell us that they don't have uh, issues or problems. Uh, there, there are so many preaching that have been preached. Oh, we've, we've had it and we've listened to it and listened to it. I want us to start going back to everything that we've had. And we put us, let's put ourselves in the like in a situation of that Samaritan and says, What can I do for this I mean uh, preaching? If you don't know what to do, you have to go in the Bible. Uh, what, what you see in the Bible, go and do likewise. And when you do that, you'll be blessed and the word of God will be given praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.